Uh, let me just say that uh, the judge has spoken, and um, I do think um, it's a tough day for all of us here in Detroit. Um, I believe since I came to office um, with the crisis that we had, uh, this was inevitable. I don't think anybody necessarily wanted to go in this direction, but now that we're here, it's more important that we work together as opposed to continuing to fight each other. Um, it's very, very important, I think, that we respect the fact that the emergency manager has the key to the city at this point in time. Uh, my relationship with Kevin has been positive uh, from the beginning. Uh, you know, we uh, don't agree on everything, but at the same token, we do it in a very respectful way. Um, I know there are a lot of people that are upset, that are concerned about their futures, but um, we are now starting from square one. Uh, there are going to be a lot of negotiations yet to come. Uh, there's going to be a lot of push and pull. I don't think we have a final determination as to what all the elements are going to be to get us through this process. But it's a process that, uh, that's, that I think we need to take a lot of care because there are, there's going to be pain for a lot of different people. But in the long run, I think the future of the city uh, will be bright. Uh, there are a lot of positive things that are now happening. There are things that are in queue that will happen in 2014. And once again, we all need to get into the same boat, pull together. As tough as it's going to be, uh, it's important for the future of the city that we get this behind us. There's a lot of debt on our balance sheet that I think uh, the next, um, the incumbent mayor or the incoming mayor will have a better balance sheet than any mayor has had in the last 15 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. This debt has been uh, uh, very, very difficult to deal with because it keeps us from having money to put into the programs that are so desperate for the citizens here in Detroit. I do think we'll see lights come on. I do think we will see an improved bus service. Uh, I do think we'll see improved uh, police and fire uh, improvement times, uh, response times. So all of those things, I think, are, are things that were part of my initiative that I think will become a reality as we move through 2014. With that, um, I'll be uh, open for questions, and uh, hopefully Kevin will be in shortly to speak. I don't know that it's bad for the pensioners just yet. I think there are more negotiations that will take place. I think all of our focus has to be on what's best for the citizens of Detroit, the 700,000 plus people that are here. I don't think we want to get into a situation where we're putting the, the citizens against the pensioners. We've got to figure out uh, there's going to be pain that goes around, and we've got to figure out how we can um, mediate uh, the least amount of pain for any one individual. Next question. Mayor, the judge, uh, Judge Rhodes, said this should have happened a long time ago. What was, what's your reaction? I absolutely agree. Um, we, um, we've wasted a lot of time. Uh, we could have, we could have in, in my four and a half years, we managed our way through a tough, tough situation. But there was no way that we were going to solve the, the, the long-term liabilities and the debt on our balance sheet. I came in the office, there was a $330 million accumulated deficit over time. We had the $18 billion overhang. And so uh, we were never able to go out and increase revenue. Uh, so the only way that we stayed alive, quite frankly, is through cuts. And, um, you know, we cut everything that we could, but unless there is more investment coming into the city, and a new stream of revenue, um, th there was no way uh, to, uh, I guess, to fix the problem. So now with bankruptcy imminent, 
Uh, I think our debt off of our balance sheet would be less than it is today, and that's going to be a positive on a going forward basis. Is there a lot of blame to go around, or can you finger any particular issue or persons, people? I don't look at, at, at blame as uh, anything that's going to be helpful at this point in time. Uh, I want to concentrate on the glass being half full as opposed to half empty and say all of us, uh, those of us who live in the city, who work in the city, who care about the city, need to come to the table to see what positive impetus we can bring with us. Um, property taxes uh, are being collected as we speak. I, I think it's a misnomer because uh, some of the numbers that I see are numbers that go back to 2009 when I first came into office where it was said we are, there's 100 to $150 million of uncollected taxes. You know, you go back 10 years ago and you're, you're using the same numbers. It's not realistic. Number one, a lot of those people or businesses are no longer here. A lot of it is uncollectible. So we need to get the real number as it relates to taxes. The same thing would hold true for um, empty houses, dangerous houses in the city. I see the number constantly at 78,000. That's not a right number. It's a moving number on a monthly basis, but it's not near to 78,000. Well, we've got to get real numbers because if you can't, if you don't have facts, it's very hard to make intelligent, informed decisions. Uh, so we're going to have factual data. Uh, I've got a lot of that at hand. I'm passing that on uh, to Mike Duggan. So he's going to have a major advantage than what I had because when I came in, I had nothing to work with. So we had to go back and uh, generate all of that data, and that's going to be good for him to make decisions with. question. Once again, thank you uh, very much. I know obviously uh, this is a big story here locally, but uh, it, has, um, it has national news people all over the country right now talking about Detroit. And we've got to start changing the conversation. And, and, and we can't think that bankruptcy is the worst thing that ever happened to us. Uh, it, it, it can help us now because it will allow us once again to deal with the things that should have been dealt with over the last 20 or 30 years. The city cannot go forward with the kind of debt and, <clears throat> and liabilities that we had on our balance sheet. So this opportunity today gives us uh, a chance, I think, to move forward with a clean slate and make good decisions that will improve the quality of life for Detroit and its citizens. Thank you. Thank you very much.